One of the questions around right effort is how much effort is too much, how much is too little. And the Buddha says there are two ways you can gauge that. One is by your strength, what level of strength you have right now to put into the practice. And then two, what the particular task involves. Because some issues come up in meditation that are very easy to solve, others are harder to solve. They require that you sit with them for a long time, be very patient and very strong to resist whatever it is that's pulling you in the wrong direction. Now the problem is that these two different ways of measuring don't always fit together easily. In other words, there may be a task that requires a lot of effort and you don't have much energy. This is where you have to learn how to look and find where your reserves are, where are your sources of strength. And this teachings on fabrication help. One, look at your breath. Are you breathing in a way that's harming your strength, that's making you weaker than you could be? Can you change the way you breathe to give yourself more energy? That's bodily fabrication. Then there's verbal fabrication. What are you saying to yourself about the issue at hand? Can you talk to yourself, converse with yourself in a different way that's not so oppressive? And then finally, what are the images you hold in mind, the perceptions? That's mental fabrication that live, give rise to feelings of pleasure or pain. To what extent do you feel yourself hemmed in by the issue or oppressed by the issue? Or to what extent are you focusing on your weaknesses? Can you focus on your strengths? Years back, someone asked me what, during my early years as a monk in Thailand, was the hardest thing to bear up with. And I thought and thought and thought for a while, and then I realized that the fact that I had to think for a while was the answer. In other words, I hadn't focused on what's heavy, what's oppressive, what's wrong. I focused and said, where can I gain some, spre some strength here? When you learn to think in new ways, focus on where your sources of strength are and see where you are basically wasting whatever energy you have, because this is one of the best ways of finding unsuspected strength, is to see where you're wasting your energy in the way you breathe, the way you think, the way you picture things to yourself. How can you change that? And that way, whichever task you have facing you, and whatever level of strength it requires, you find that you have more strength than you thought you had. And that's all to the good.